Hello there everyone! This is Emerald Emblem here again. And today I have decided, due to num numerous technical circumstances, to play a game where I only need one hand. And no, it's not what you might have been thinking when I said that. Because unfortunately, my mic stand's broken. So I have to end up having to buy a new one. But in the meantime, I'm going to be using, be holding the mic in my left hand. So anyway, this is Neko, Neko Para, Cat's Paradise. And I have a thing for things like this. And you know, focusing on the Japanese anime market in my game choices, I'm sure you know why. So let's let's start this game then, shall we? Game in the loosest sense because I'm just going to be doing this. And two achievements right off the bat. Not bad. And this would be my restaurant, or cafe, whatever way you want to go about it. Now I'm not sure whether I should voice this myself or not. I suppose I'll let you guys decide. This isn't going to be very long, I'm just going to get through the introduction. And I know these can tend to be a bit longer. But let's just go with it. Now, um, yes, my mic stand. Unfortunately, I just left it to one side. Knocked it off. Oh, that's fine, I can ignore that for now. And, um, I got up one morning to get ready for work and lost my balance and stood on one of the, stood on one of the legs and it broke off. Which was kind of a dip, a bit of a bu bummer. Don't know what I was going to say there. <laughs> I'll just let it on autoplay. So, you know, I could just commentate. There you go. Um, yeah, unfortunately. This is going a bit quicker than I thought. I'm kind of struggling to pay attention. I think I'll just go at my own pace. So, yeah, um got a new job as well. Shift work, so I know it wasn't consistent anyway, but starting there, I wish this was talking for me. You know what? Next episode I am going to voice it, so I hope you're following it right now. You know, it's difficult for me to do this commentating and reading at the same time. Kind of difficult. then if I commentated when the girls talked in Japanese it would sound kind of weird. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's a bakery, that's right, yeah. I remember now. I should really pay attention, I should really make sure I know what I'm doing. So, there we go, there's a bit of a life update for you there. And we have a box. No, no. There appears to be two boxes. Yes. Thank you for pointing that out. Fragile, delicate. Mm. Absolutely this side up. If thrown, your company will be in trouble. Oh dear. <laughs> the warnings were going overboard. They were getting annoying. <laughs> yes, I imagine they would. seem to be that way, wouldn't it? If these were for the bakery, there's no way I wouldn't remember buying them. There were no tags from the moving company either. All they were, were those warning labels. Well, what's gonna happen? Ooh. The box is talking to me! It 
someone's being quiet. No! Oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> I think the jig is up, Missy. I think you better come out of that box. Oh, it's just a cat. Yeah. <laughs> and... Boom! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you would. <laughs> and she's referring to herself in the third person. I know a friend there who'd love that trait. How could they be so mean? We must kill them all. You are in a box, to be fair. That doesn't sound too bad. Ooh, don't make chocolate angry. <laughs> That was kind of a mean comment. And she's now pouty. Well, I guess that's how you describe Chocola. Sorry, I didn't read that. I completely forgot I was voicing all the non voice lines. Apologies. Oh ho! And the second box. <laughs> if I spoke Japanese, I so totally would just so it would fit in. And there's the second one! Oh my god! Don't care about their own hygiene if they're there. Lorries, apparently. Vanilla and Chocola. There they are. The two cat girls. And they appear to be joined at the hip. <laughs> Just like cats, clearly. No. Oh. Again, huh? Go away. <laughs> that seems a bit unfair. All right, you just wanted them out of the boxes. Fair enough. That's fine then. I hung up after trying to call my little sister. Little sister, I am intrigued by this development. There was no way that chocolate and vanilla could have gotten mixed in with the rest of the boxes in the first place. On the outside, cat girls look almost like humans, as they normally do. They can understand words and can talk just like us. But more than humans, cat girls were closer to normal cats. After all, Cat girls had ears and tails just like cats do. And that is part of the appeal. <laughs> they were genetically modified humanoid cats that were commonly referred to as cat girls. So in this universe, they're genetically modified. Interesting. These days, cat girls fit into society as pets in families or partners to humans. My little sister really loves to dote on cat girls. So there are going to be more cat girls if you didn't already figure out by the, um, the title screen. So our family has six, including Chocola and Vanilla. That seems a lot of mouths to feed. 
totally would if I could afford to, and if they actually existed, which sadly they do not. Let's sigh. In any case, they couldn't have mailed themselves all on their own. Mailing living things through the post would be impossible, for one thing. There's no way my parents would have helped with this either. Thus, I can only guess that this was somehow Shigure's doing. And here you go, a feature of this game is the living animations, which is something that's pretty awesome. So, um, anyway, this was just a short intro, just to see, um, just so you guys know what's up, and knowing that this is going to be my next um, playthrough, I suppose you could call it. Not that I'm going to be doing much other than clicking, but that's how these games go. So, thank you very much for watching. I'm just going to save it first. There we go. Chapter 1. We will continue off next time. So, until then, take care.